I am now honored to give the floor to His Excellency, President of the United Nations Economic and Social Council and Permanent Representative of Pakistan to the United Nations in New York. Thank you, Mr. President, for joining us. Excellency, you have the floor. Thank you. Thank you, um, Excellencies, dear colleagues, ladies and gentlemen. I'm pleased to join you today to celebrate World Pulses Day in recognition of the important contribution of pulses to sustainable food systems and healthy diets. Pulses are not only an integral part of a healthy diet, they contribute to improving food security and ensuring soil health. They also improve and ensure sustainability of agricultural production systems. Pulses are important crops in many Asian and African countries. They are part of Asian diets and have been for centuries. When the Mughal emperor Shah Jahan was imprisoned by his son, he was offered the choice of only one food uh, during his incarceration. He chose lentils. It can be prepared in at least 500 different ways. Being part of Asia, my own country, Pakistan, is not an exception, where pulses are one of the most important sources of plant protein. Sustainable production and consumption of pulses are thus <clears throat> part of our efforts to achieve the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development. Unfortunately, COVID-19 has highlighted how many of our food systems are failing us, especially where inequality is most pronounced. Food systems must become more inclusive, more equitable, and more sustainable. I believe that pulses are an integral part of such a strategy. We cannot accept that hunger and food insecurity <clears throat> have been on the rise and that malnutrition continues to affect millions of children. With the economic slowdown and disruptions caused by the recession, which has been triggered by the pandemic, the situation is likely to get worse. The income decline of the poor people has impacted food security and food, food access, put food access at great risk for many. The most impacted are the poor and the vulnerable as they spend an average 70% of their total income on food. The World Food, food Program estimates that 149 million people were acutely food insecure across 79 countries in 2019. COVID-19 is projected to bring the total number of acutely food insecure people to 272 million by the end of 2020. Excellencies, dear friends, we need a humanitarian <clears throat> and emergency response to hunger and to disease but we need at the same time to work to strengthen our food system and to make them more sustainable and resilient. We need to invest in sustainable agricultural related infrastructure to ensure market access for remote and small scale farmers in the developing countries. We must work together to make sustainable agricultural technologies available to developing countries and concessional and preferential terms. There is also an urgent need to find a permanent solution to the billions of dollars of agricultural subsidies that are provided by industrial countries, which have led to chronic overproduction of certain crops, dumping of surpluses and distortions in global markets, especially in the developing countries. Dear friends, Food systems were identified in the 2019 Global Sustainable Development Report as a particularly important area for change 
because they have ripple effects across the SDGs. They are critical for human health and well-being. The Secretary General's Food Systems Summit in September 2021 will call for transformative actions in the way the world produces and consumes food to accelerate progress against hunger and the achievement of all 17 sustainable development goals. I am sure that pulses will be part, an integral part of this strategy. This will be an important contribution to the decade of action to achieve the sustainable development goals by 2030. Ahead of the summit in next July, the 2021 High Level Political Forum will consider SDG 2, Zero Hunger, and its interrelations with other SDGs. This will be part of the reflection on policies to respond to the COVID-19 while putting us back on track to realize the SDGs. I am sure that the importance of pulses will feature centrally in these discussions. I thank you. Thank you, Excellency, for your wonderful remarks.